Welcome to our little homestead where we are getting ready to start construction on our new farmhouse. It will be my model for three months and then we'll move into it after I make a few cells off of it. So it's time, we're starting construction uh, for my construction year of 2020. Uh, this is going to be my model home. Uh, this is a banner, and this is what I put up in front of my homes to show what's coming, okay? But it's always a surprise, because I never put the actual picture on the banner that is going on one of my custom designed model homes. These are always mine. The, the plans I draft up, they belong to me, and they belong to my company, and then I'll probably build a couple of them, before, always changing the way it looks first. But I never, try never to build a house more than two or three times. Unless it's a client, and then of course, I design it for them, they own the plans, and they pay me for that. So, it would only be once with them unless they sold it. So, um, with my permission, because it's still my design work. Alright, so, here it is. The unveiling of the banner. Are you ready, Papa? Yeah. Are you me? <laughs> you cheat. All right. We'll see you in a minute. Right here. Right here's where we're putting it. Here we go. Let's get started. I'll bring you with us. Woohoo! We're starting. And this is the location where it's going. There's the well. It was already here. It was only about uh, maybe eight to ten years old. So that's the well. We own all the way back there, way back there. And there's the silo, it's gonna be my office, and then we're getting a new barn. And there's the beast parked there. So, um, but yeah, when they moved out of the barn, they uh, pulled a tractor and lifted it with some cables and they took the roof down on the barn. And then we had some tornadic winds and it took the old roof part way off. So, let's go get a new barn. Glad it happened before the barn. <laughs> all right, so. Here we are, we're going to put some grommets in here. This is what starts construction. It starts with grommets and a banner. So, um, yeah, we're just going to use this uh, kit here. There you go, your, your tamper, your post tamper. Two metal posts, your banner, and, uh, and I got some other surprises in this bag right here. Some other surprises. But this is how you want to start your construction after you get everything done. Let's come back here a little bit. When you get everything done and you got an assistant like a lovely husband John. <laughs> yeah, with this wrist I can't I can't pound those in. It would just kill my wrist hurt me so bad last night, didn't it, Papa? Yeah. Yeah, it's taken me it's taken me it's been nine months now and since uh, my son in law rebroke my hand, it was uh, it's taken me longer to get over it. I was just getting over it when he gave me a high five and he smashed my hand real hard. That was at Christmas. So, alright. So we're going to put this banner up and we'll be right location. back. location, you don't, this is a fabric. So you want to find the, uh, inside the edge of the fabric to where you want to be here. So it doesn't tear or pull. So let me go ahead and get that. I'm doing this on a kind of like a curve right here. So yeah, I got to needs to be a flat surface to be honest with you. Let me pull it this way a little bit. There we go. And if that doesn't punch it out. We got a knife right here that will. Alright, now once you've used this tool here, that end right there, to do your punch out, you want to lay this tool underneath. You're going to get a grommet with a lip. Fits right in there just like that. Fits on there like that. Then you get a washer that does not have the lip. And you put it on this piece. Hammer on that end. And then you want to put it, what I like to call the ditch. The ditch is down. Or the ditch is up. <laughs> get it, the gig is up, the ditch is up. <laughs> and this at least helps stabilize. Make sure that's centered on that post so that doesn't slip on me. Move it around. See, it kind of moves around here on me a little bit. When it does that, it doesn't it doesn't feel flat. So let me move this over just a little bit, and then I'm going to hit more this direction and put a little bit more pressure on that side. 
All right, so here we have, we have our grommet in. Now that's supposed to be the nice side, but that's not how we were doing it. <laughs> so this should be on the front. Does it look straight? Yes. Okay, it looks straight. Okay, it looks straight. Still looks straight? Yes. You're almost there. One more. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's on it. All right. So now we just hang the banner. And there you go. The stone bridge. The question is, is this the house that will be sitting here? I'm going to leave you wondering. I will tell you this. It's not. <laughs> the house I'm putting in is going to have a lot more stone. It's got a room addition coming off the front. There's a large dormer up here and a huge garage off this side. But this is the picture, my tease picture that people will get when they come by. But what's going on? Beautiful plan. And I'm excited, aren't you, Dad? Yes. And I'm doing ten foot two 10-foot garage doors instead of three 8-foot garage doors. So, And then it'll have arts and crafts columns on the front. So a lot of stone, a lot of brick. The only siding on the house will be in this area and my garage sits here so just a little area here and down here on both sides and then on the back of the house the rest of the house is all brick and stone all the way to soffits okay so that's just a little tidbit what's coming up so stay with us come on in here john so anyway i'm here with my husband john he's joined my construction team since he's retired and he's going to be my new my assistant supervisor wherever you want to be whatever you want me to be <laughs> whatever you want to be see that's, that's what kind of husband you need see a good christian one that just goes along with everything, all right? Sounds like a plan to me. <laughs> See, it sounds like a plan to him. We know who wears pants in this family. Yep. Yeah. We both do. <laughs> we both do. <laughs> all right, so anyway, coming soon. Uh, next up, we're going to be marking the driveway so the stone guy can deliver the stone for the basement dig, okay? That goes next. And remember, I've gotten all of my permits. I've had to uh, turn this into what they call a mini subdivision here in this county. And it was my first time building across the county line into this county, but we still have Boone County REMC. So they're full stop right there. So we have the last Boone County REMC poles, my understanding. So we barely made it onto Boone REMC, which they say is better. So got lucky. Got lucky with the well. Uh, we got lucky with the electricity already being here. We just had to get it turned on. And, um, and the big surprise is, and I'll give this out now, is because of the level of the road and how low it is down on this end, um, I knew I was going to get some windows on that side of the basement, but I didn't know it was going to be a walkout basement. All right, so we're going to have end up having a walkout basement. So uh, the, uh, the, the uh, covered porches that I had designed are actually going to be covers for another deck underneath now. So we had to, instead of do concrete, we had to do wood decking here. So just a few, just a few changes, some expensive changes, but we're going to get it up and you're going to come along for the ride, I hope, right? All right, be sure and subscribe. Hit that like button, show us some support while we're going through this, and we'll take you through it step by step on how to build your home, all right? Or at least so you'll know more so when you find a builder, you'll know what they're talking about, all right? So come on for the ride here on our little homestead. Blessings. Blessings. We might have to call it our big homestead now. <laughs> that's what people say, you gotta change it to our big homestead. I'm like, no, that sounds like a big farmer. I'm not a big farmer. <laughs> Coming soon.